All right, this video I'm going to go over the newest firmware update, which is the MPPT18, then a 0C, and a 0D. So what this firmware did, it gives us, well, the main change that I'm excited about, is it gave us option 30, a setting 30, which is a generator 8R? Anyway, generator 8R? Well, okay, yeah, sure, generator 8R. Ha, huh, someone's funny. Uh, but when you enable this, currently disabled, so watch this. We're going to play with this. We're going to leave it disabled for now. Um, and my generator setting is 3,000 watts. So we're going to come over here. This is my load today. And we're going to do charge 4 kilowatts. And set... Ooh, this thing is going up. And we're going to be pulling hopefully 4 kilowatts. Which we are. Then we come back over here. You see that we're pulling 4 from the generator. However, my generator limit is 3. So where the limit comes in play is if you're charging, it'll cut back charging in order to increase the output but your load still cannot exceed the generator capability. However, watch what happens when I hit enable. So, you can see I'm pulling 1.8 kilowatts from the batteries. Hold on, let's find my surge, my gauge. So there we got 23 amps. And let's see what happens when I bring this down to... one kilowatt. And watch down here, we're going, now we're charging. So let's see, we got one kilowatt load and 1.7 kilowatts going to that. And let's change this to three kilowatts, because remember, generator's at three. And now, we're pushing a three kilowatt load. And we're just barely pulling a load from the battery. So let's go ahead and turn off option 30. Now we're not pulling anything from the batteries. Well, 1.3 amps. But we're still supporting a full load from the generator. So let's up this to 5,000. So now we're pulling five, and we're pulling five from there. Pulling nothing from the batteries. Let's go ahead and turn that feature back on. And we're going to hit enable. And look at that, we jump straight up. So now we're pulling. Jenny, we're pulling three kilowatts from the generator. We're supplying a five kilowatt load. And then the batteries are supplying uh, 2.3. So let's see if we can go right here to the generator, I believe. Nope. And didn't select. There we go. Let's push this down. Nope, that's not it either. There we go. Let's bring this down. Let's say we got a 2000 watt high end day, or high end day, Honda. So we're going to pull 1.5 from the generator. Now, let's see if we can find that. 
So you can see we're pulling four from the batteries and 1.5 from the generator for a combined load of 5.2. And that is how the generator boost works. So you set your generator boost, you set your generator to the max, whatever you want it to be. Then you can enable generator boost, which anytime your load exceeds your generator's rating, it'll drop, or I'm sorry, it'll pull from the batteries to make up the difference. So let's come back over here. We're going to change our load to zero. Come back over here. We're going to watch. Now we're going to be charging. We're pulling 1.5 from the generator and we're pushing 1.3 to the batteries. One point three. All right, and then let's do generator in. My generator is rated for seven thousand watts. So let's do six thousand from the generator. Now we're pulling, we're charging, sorry. So there's our 5.9 from the generator. We're charging. Now when I start up a load, it's going to take some of the charging power to supply the load. So I'm going to do start with 3,000. So we're starting with 3,000. So like I said, it pulls the three from the battery charging and puts it to the load. Now if I keep going, it'll just go negative. It'll start pulling from the battery and supplying the load. Okay. 